What it looks like we got here is a standard Micronta 3 range power modulation and swire meter. But, not really. You add one of these to it. What do you end up with? Oh, colours. Red. Green. Blue. White. It's got 14 different colours. That's supposed to be yellow. All these different colours. And you'll get what is called smooth. Three colours. And you get fade. It's supposed to be fading, it's not doing it because I've got it on slow. And you've got strobe. Slow strobe. And you've got flash. And it flashes all the colours. It doesn't cause any interference with the radio. I'm not getting any, any, any interference. It seems to work fine. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. And it's got all the colours. That's my favourite there, white. I can make it bright. Or I can dim it. Uh, that's as dim as I can get it there. There you go. Ten dollars. eBay. All those colours and all those things you can do. Turn it off, turn it off. What I did was put the LEDs and stuck them on the back of the casing on the inside. So they're not up close. And uh, I ran a 2.5mm, 2.5mm jack in the back of it. And drilled a hole here for the receiver. So I can use it and have any colour I want, as you can see, changing, re it remembers where it was last. So I like a blue or a white, some people like a green or a red. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you, some, some of you purists will hate it, some of you guys might like it. This is what happens when I get bored and I've got a little bit of spare time on my hands. Anyway guys, catch us later.